I wanted to uh, give you guys the Easter Biker Bunny special here. We're uh, building an OCC here. I don't know how well you can see that, but I got a couple of tips for you people. Besides using Loctite on everything, because these bikes are hollow inside, they're just a massive amount of monochrome metal, and it just tends to resound even if you dampen the mount. Uh, during our special, we have a couple of big tips. These carburetors. Uh, this one idles like shit. Uh, sorry, I, I've, I've had a really tough couple of months and I had some illness. And uh, I apologize to Josh, his bike got behind. Uh, I had a mother that bought a car. We got her another car. She had one of those lemons, the Ford Focus, so we had to get her another vehicle. She's not familiar with all the icons. She jumps out of her sneakers like something's wrong. Because the Ford Focus, and it did it to me, it quit right in the middle of traffic, threw the tranny light on. You got oncoming cars trying to avoid you. You see your life go before your eyes. So when you're my mom's age up in the 80s, uh, you know, mid-80s, and you're still pretty swift, but you don't have control of all your faculties in your life like that anymore. And as I'm aging, I'm noticing that myself. So getting back to that, Josh, we had some things happen besides we had shelving collapse. We bought... Uh, shelving at Lowe's for the big shop and it collapsed. It was defective. Lowe's knew it, yet they still sold it to me anyway. And now they're going to hear from my uh, New York lawyer. Uh, so far, I'm going to get a nice settlement, I guess, sometime or whatever. But it's, it's nothing compared to the damage. It's just going to replace the money that we put out twice now for, you know, the same goddamn thing. My insurance made up for a lot of it. Uh, but it's still the hurt, the loss of the inventory and other things that really weren't covered. Okay, and winter's not my favorite because after the biker bunny comes is racing season. And there's really only three things that make me tick are engines, racing, and the nice weather. Other than that, I lay back. And uh, I don't build that many of these bikes anymore because people don't want to pay for them. And just like this kit with Matt, number one, where the drive chain is, I had to shim that out. I had a machine washer to bring the sprocket out so it was away from the tire and it had enough clearance because it kept throwing the chain otherwise so there were a lot of delays in making this bike not just mention what life's happening shelves collapse uh, Jesus Christ I, I don't I don't know what else could happen to me but I'm a tough guy and the next time somebody like Josh talks up to me when he's a punk we're gonna come up on the black motorcycles and pay him a visit because I don't think people understand I'm not gonna take their bullshit and I don't know I don't care who you are I'm out to do you a favor by building you a safe bike. Like these carburetors with this Mickey Mouse bolt through them. Get rid of that. I take a 6 millimeter and a lock washer. And I drive it in there. Because if not, you're going to suck air. These carburetors suck to begin with. I have to tweak that one and jet that one. I've got Rush doing this bike. And as I said, it's not Josh's fault. That is my fault. But life does happen. Half the time I don't get to get a shave and a shit and a shower properly. I'm that busy, and a lot of it is money going out, not coming in. So I appreciate when people listen to me and take the patience. These bikes, they're classic. No matter what condition they're in, they're still the neatest thing you're going to see going down the road. My motor's doing its job. It's a powerhouse. It's the carburetor that I get. And I don't get that many bad parts. Uh, I talk about Matt at Motor Work. Uh, Motorworks. I think this is the first turkey I've ever gotten from them, and that's not Matt's fault. I'm not going to jump down Matt's throat and call up Motorworks or so I know where he lives down in Bethlehem and everything. I'm not going. I'm not have to hurt the guy. I love the guy. Most of the stuff, but it happens to me. I get stuff just like the low shelving, then this, and there's always a, there's a delay, a delay, delay, and people get antsy. Then they start opening their mouth, and then you want to start throttling them and. That's what happens, but I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not going to go up and throttle Josh. Or, I mean, I think he's, you know, he's being immature. I understand when a customer orders something, okay? We've ordered things. Uh, I've ordered a truck in my time, a brand new truck, and it took a couple of months to come in. When they told me it was going to be three weeks, uh, you know, I ordered it in like February. I didn't get the goddamn thing till June or July, whatever it was. Uh, I still hung on to it, and they told me, you know, it is, it was something in the factory. They were changing some kind of production on the floor around or whatever, and the truck would be ready. So it was what I wanted back then. It was the first new vehicle I wanted, besides one of these Silverados, and then I got sent over to goddamn Iraq. So my life has been a bunch of chaos, and that's why I'm here on, in, on the Easter holiday making a video completing his bike. Naturally, as things go wrong, 
I didn't have five millimeter screws. I have one screw that came that held this cover on the uh, chain guard cover. So I got to wait till Monday or Tuesday or whatever to get to the supply house, get the proper screws. You see, when you buy something from me, that's why other people they buy shit and it falls apart because the guy they rush the guy. They're just antsy. They want what they want, but they don't care that the guy you, you know you're busting his balls and he's going to be a clown and say here it is. Well, I got news for you, Josh, and everybody else. Uncle Dutch ain't like that. I don't, I don't care how much you threaten me. You ain't going to bend my ears. I'm a big guy. I survived eight tours in my time in the military. Eight tours. There's a lot of guys, they didn't make it through two. They didn't make it through two, three weeks after boot camp. They didn't make it. And yet, I got to, I got to fly how many sorties and do all the shit. I, all, all the crazy stuff I did would blow your mind. I did some really squirrely shit, and I lived to tell about it. And I did it on the racetrack, too, for how many years? And every now and then in life, I get in a hairy situation. I got that little angel on my shoulder, and I hope she never goes away. But, you know, one day, things could have their their uh, their end or whatever for me, but I don't take it that way. I just don't like when people want to be a goddamn bully when they're nothing but a freaking puppy dog. Jesus Christ, don't, 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 uh, don't taunt the moose that has antlers. So, these bikes, use Loctite, and then we had the Gremlin. All assemblies aside, had little whisker wires, little thin wires, and they were laying on top of each other. So every time I hooked up the kill switch, which originally the bike didn't start, and I'm replacing stuff, and finally I'm hooking up the kill switch, and then I didn't hook it up, pulled the wires out, ran the bike, and it fired. Then it didn't want to fire again because I had the goddamn plug all fouled out. So you want to talk about everything that can go wrong with these bikes, working with this Chinese crap, Okay, just like they're selling these defective tires now that blow out on your motor homes and your cars. You might as well start running, you might as well start buying a diesel truck. At least they have to make them to a certain specification. Because people are getting hurt, they're getting injured. Uh, if not, they're getting an insurance claim or their property's being destroyed. China is really a bunch of loathsome little freaking toads. They really are. They're just cheap little bastards. You know, that's why I don't build that many of these bikes anymore. To tell you people the truth, what happened. They started copying the things that we're making them and selling them at a quarter of the price. So I'm not really that interested. I, I've gone into to fixing up these mowers and stuff. So, you know, I, I'm an engine man. I'll, I'll put this back up here so you can see me. I'm an engine man. So my job is, like, I have project trucks. And I just bought myself a flatbed trailer that we're going to convert for hauling these mowers around. I'm really... Uh, an engine guy and I love engines and I love you know like racing and things that work I'm a stock car guy okay and that was the reason why I went through how many seasons and kept winning is I'm a driven individual I'm driven to perfection so not only do we have to put another well I don't think we have to put another switch I just got to clip them wires we'll see how that works out and we'll pull it apart again if we have to but they're just those little like I said little well, you know, you let a stray wire ground out against something, it's going to, you know, just a piece of it, just one strand of it, and, and you're done. And then I want to work on that carburetor. Uh, it, it probably, I'm going to jet it. I, I didn't, normally, the, the carbs, I these carbs I got from Matt, they, they hadn't been bad in the past, but, as I said, I don't fault Matt. I'm not those other guys who say stuff behind your back. If I have something to say to you, okay, I'm not afraid. I wear a leather cut, okay, so I don't care who you are. You better watch out for the club, watch out, whatever, okay? I happen to inherit it, uh, this, and I appreciate it. But don't fool with the, the people that, that make America move. We're out to build something for you so you have something, okay? Versus General Motors is now selling Chinese-made shit inside their cars and stuff. Who knows what the future is going to bring? Uh, let's hope we get in a war with China. It might be the best goddamn thing for this country because it's going downhill in a handcart and nobody's stopping the freaking freight train that ran away. You've got to have an end to things. And just like Josh, you got to pay attention. You want a piece of shit, kid? Come on down and get it. Pick it up. You can finish it. You know more than I. He told me he, he has a whole shop. He knows more than I do. He works at a goddamn furniture store. I work my balls off for these fucking tools up here. Working at a furniture store, I couldn't afford a pack of cigarettes and, 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 and a, and a six-pack. Which reminds me, uh, guys, I love black jelly beans. Mike, Lisa, if you're going to give me jelly beans, I want jelly beans. These taste like shit. I don't know what they are, but they're yellow in the middle.
So anyway, my Easter wasn't complete without the bunny rabbit and without the green grass growing. My trees are actually budding, to, you know, before my eyes. So I enjoy my life, my backyard. You couldn't get me out of here. For, that's the reason why I bought this place. It's, it was nice and quiet. We had a crack house over here for a while. It's still been pretty quiet. We've had some people coming around. Uh, not much, but uh, my life had been severely interrupted by the crack house, and I, I, I'm just getting back to maybe where I can buckle down and start paying bills again the way I should without having to stand here with a, you know, over this place with a goddamn uh, ton of weapons and, and phone numbers and everybody to call shit goes down. I've really just had a loathsome time of, like I said, and then this ball buster doesn't understand that if you can't get the parts or you can't get it right, you don't get it. I don't give you the bike. I'm just not like that. So, thanks for watching Harley B. And uh, my condescending attitude, I'm known for it. Uh, that's, where is my patch? Gotta, you know, read that. I'm your Dutch uncle. I always tell you the truth. I don't, I'm not out there to blow smoke up your ass. You buy something from me, you don't get a piece of shit. That's just it. So, some of the stuff that I sell used, that's what it is. You want two, three hundred dollar uh, bike that somebody traded in? I'm not touching it. You know what I mean? Then you want to bring it back. Oh, you know, hey, I told you what it was. You told me you're a mechanic. You got more tools than I do. I hear all kinds of stuff. The one guy told me he had a V8 Vega. I said, well, I'm going to deliver the bike. I'll bring it up. I want to see that. Oh, well, you know, I'm not going to be home or whatever, but I'll come down and get it, you know. Then I know they're fucking full of shit. You know, you want to see some of my rides and my equipment? Hey, you know, have at it. I have a lawnmower. We're building Tractorzilla back there. So my next video, we're going more into mowers and lawn equipment performance there because this stuff it's just getting to be too tough to compete with China and people don't understand there is a difference in quality they don't really give a shit it's the dollar it's this thing that uh, it, it, it's what hurts the industry so I'm sorry you know like I said with the condescending attitude and everything else but people want to come up on me and and you know I'm gonna tell you where the bear shits I'm the guy with eight tours underneath my belt I've been around the world, as I said, on a Navy ship seven times before I was 21 years old. You know what I mean? I don't know where the hell you've been all your life, but don't tell me the way life really works. And that goes for cops, lawyers, anybody else. I know the way fucking life works, and I'm tired of people trying to tell me another, the moon's blue or black or whatever it is, green. Don't tell me what it is when I'm looking right at it. And that's how it is, and that's how it goes. But that's the kind of guy you want to buy a car or a truck from or a lawnmower or a motorized bike. That's the guy you want to buy one from. Because he ain't out to blow smoke up your ass. And that's just the way it is. And thanks for watching my spring opener. And as I said, the Easter Biker Bunny special has ended. Uh, for Matt, Mike, and Lisa, the jelly beans suck. Uh, whatever. I'm going to go in and we have a beer around here. Uh, Freedom beer. I haven't touched this stuff. I got to get the, I got two in the freezer. Uh, I, I, I'm going to have one or two. That's it. But I got to put them in the freezer. I had it stuffed in the back of the pantry. I haven't touched one for a while. Here it is. Anyway, it says Freedom Reserve right on it. But I'm all about freedom. I'm all about soldiers. And I'm hoping Hillary goes to jail. I'm just hoping they get them. I'm hoping they start with Boehner and the rest of them clowns. McCain, I'm glad you're dead. You were a commie prick. And so are you, Mueller. And you other that fucked hard with the big mouth, that Maxine Waters and the other one, you're nothing but commie pricks. I'm a soldier. I'm the people that kept this country free. Stop telling me the way life really works. All of you. Anyway, thanks for the uh, special. Good night, guys.